would it be the riskiest thing that you've heard someone do? Uh, I like the old John Romano one. I think I think it's just more with diuretics more than anything back in the day. Taking diuretics too long or cutting water out too early stuff, that's probably the most. Because a lot of guys, not many, like some, but not many went crazy on steroids. The riskiest thing was more diuretics or stuff like that. And what was the one, where was it when... Um what did John? Who was the bodybuilder? John Romano yeah. gave Paul Delette the injection. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he froze up. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was Paul could have won that show. Like a week out, he was that dry. But you know that mentality kicks in. If I can just get that little bit better, he couldn't have got any better. So he, and when you're at that point too, you got no, pretty much no water left in you. Your minerals are down. You take a Lasix, it's just going to take out whatever you have left and. If it takes out every bit you got in your body, then, you know, all your organs and muscles and your heart's a muscle, you just... <laughs> he did a lat spread and <laughs> they had to carry him off like an ironing board. And it sucked too because I remember being on stage still at the corner of my eye. I can see him laying on the table and they're working on him. And I'm thinking, fuck, that's my mate over there. You can see him working on him. I'm like, is he dead? So you're trying to compete and still keep in the moment of competing, but at the corner of your eye... You can see all these people working on poor, so it's like a shitty feeling. Hmm. And and so he was already looking good, oh, and would have been dry, been, dry as anything. And do you reckon he could have won the show? <laughs> Easy. But like I said, everyone always just thinks that's why that last week I always tell people, if you look good, don't change it. Because like if you say you dieted for sixteen weeks. For 16 weeks, you've been pretty much eating the same, training the same, cardio, drugs, whatever. Then that last week, people go, hmm, I'm going to cut back my cardio. I'm going to add more food in. I'm going to change these drugs, add diuretics. So now, for 15 weeks, your body's done this. This last week, you change it up and your body's just all chemicals, hormones and shit. That last week, your body goes, holy fuck, what's going on? That's when it becomes hit and miss because a lot of guys, how many times would you see photos two weeks out? You're like, oh, he's going to win the show. Comes on stage, you're like, what the fuck happened? So, because like I said, everyone always thinks they can do that little, what they call it, peak week or something. Yeah. I'm like, look, if you're in shape, don't touch anything. Just slowly cut your water back. I used to only take maybe a quarter of a diuretic on the Thursday. If I look good Friday, I wouldn't take another one because if you pull all the water out, you, okay, you pull a little bit of water out under the skin, that's good. But if you take too much and you pull the water out of the muscle, you're just going to flatten out and you're not going to have time to fill back out unless you try to do drastic stuff. But then doing drastic stuff is only going to be even worse. So people overthink it. It's always like, if I just do this a little bit more. You know, like I said, if you look good, don't fucking touch it. Just pump up, tan up, cut a little bit of water out and just walk on stage. <laughs> yeah, and also now you you you... Um, the thing you learn is that everyone's different. So what might work for mm -hmm. you won't work for me. And um, so when someone's advising someone, and yeah, they might have done it with five people yeah. before, but then for you... That's the thing with gurus. They say, well, it worked for him. Let's try it with you. Oh, it didn't work for you. Okay, well, next time we won't do that. Well, I was like, well, fuck, thanks. You yeah, know? yeah. Next show's in six months. Thanks for fucking me up for this one. That's why I never had gurus. I just... No one's going to know your body better than you, and that's why... It's good to try and do a few shows so you can learn what works and when to cut things out and when to add things in. But, yeah, that whole last peak week, they call it, I'm thinking. And then it's like I said, you've been training too. I know a lot of guys who stop cardio. They stop training the last week. I'd train up until the day before the show. Like, I wouldn't go super heavy, but I'd still do weights just to keep yeah. the blood moving because that's what your body's used to doing. Yeah. I did that once where I didn't train for two days and I was bored shitless. I'm just sitting there going... Actually, even though I wasn't getting fat, I actually felt like I was lazy doing nothing because, like I said, for 15 weeks, I've been doing cardio two to three hours a day, training twice a day, doing this, doing yeah. that. Now for two days, I've just got to sit there and maybe go do a little bit of posing. It's just shit. So just keep on the same routine, you know? And also now with, like... You know, if you're stressing out, oh, that, 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 that has a physical that, that effect. Is, it can like release cortisol and that because that's happened to me. A week or two out, you can have veins everywhere. Like, fuck, I look great. You get backstage in the same condition. If you're nervous, you're like, where's all the veins gone? I'm just as lean, but the veins just disappear. 
And that's why sometimes at the finals, people look a lot better because the judging's done, the nerves are gone, you're just going out to really? have fun, so they look much better at night time. And that's happened to you? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, it's it's incredible. Like, it's just... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah so, but people always do that last peak week. I'm like, don't do anything crazy that last week where you'll have guys who have been on 50 grams of carbs a day now they're taking a thousand. I was like, your body's just going to go, what yeah. the fuck are you doing? And now you've stopped cardio and stopped training. And yeah. and then you'll have these certain drugs you're taking. Now you've cut them out and you're adding these drugs in. Now you're adding in diuretics. Your body's just going haywire. So Yeah, you're literally gambling. Mm-hmm. Well, like I said, you've seen it so many times. How many times? I'm sure everyone listening has seen photos of guys before shows and you swear he's definitely going to win. Then you're like, fuck, didn't he make top ten? What happened? So... It's not worth it. Not worth fucking gambling. Like you said, it's pretty much just hit and miss. And has there been any notable ones where they've just done something completely crazy and then just no, gone? No, there's been like a few. Like I've seen happen. Pretty much all of them I've seen happen to. But one of them who used to look great beforehand was like Dennis James before shows. Yeah, right. He was like a monster, shredded in that. And sometimes come the day of the show, you're like, look like he fucking lost 30 pounds or so. It's like, what happened? So... There's been a few where you see him just a week or two out, like he's definitely going to win. Then they come on stage, you're like, fuck, what did he do wrong? Well, it's like... And then you hear, but you should have seen me two days later once I filled out again. It's like, well, you're two days late, mate. The show's over. Well, it's like any sort of competition where, um, you know, say Linus is in a um, powerlifting. Mm -hmm. You could be a super strong guy in the gym, do these amazing lifts, but if you're going to do it on stage, uh-huh. you know, you mightn't be sleeping for seven nights before uh-huh. the, the, oh, yeah. the competition, stressing yes. out, uh-huh. yeah, and then, then on the yeah, day. Yeah, like I said, even sometimes you're doing it at the gym, even though you've got a strict way of doing it. I've seen some powerlifting events where you can have a judge where you do it a strict way, but he might want it done even a certain way where he'll be like, nah, that's not right. Yeah. You're like, what do you mean it's not right? I brought it down, I stopped, I didn't arch my back, so. Yeah. There's so many little things, and, then, and that can just throw you off mentally. Then if you're not right mentally, yeah, everything goes to shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's even like I've seen guys even smooth out where you can be like, say, people talk to people, okay, you're going to be you're going to be in the top four, you're being the first call out, and you'll see them standing there all confident, the first call out comes and they're not called out, you can just see them go, oh. Really? You can just see the whole, like, deflation like fuck that means they're not going to be in the top four well they might get in the first call out but then they'll send them back and bring somebody else out so they're like oh fuck i was there but now i'm not so now yeah. looking at this guy and you can generally when you watch their face and their demeanor you can just see them lose it mentally so yep yeah no i i, I didn't um appreciate the the um the mental side of it mm-hmm 